Okay, so we're about to send you back a couple of short native bows made out of Osage, um, native style bows. There is the hide glue, the water, the sinew. I've got it soaking in water for about 24 hours, not that you need to do that. So here's the two bows. I have chased the ring with an axe and a tomahawk. I'll show you those in a second there at the end of the table. So that is the first bow and that has been chased. You can tell it's not perfect but then again I didn't use a draw knife. It could be shot as it is but due to the fact it's only about 42 inches long um, I'm not going to stress it if I want to get a full draw. These are the tools that I use or that I've used. So there's a couple of tomahawks there. Uh, this one in the back it's made from a local guy uh, in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where I am. This is an H&B Forge throwing tomahawk. That's what I used quite a bit. This is a couple of knives that I've used. They're a 1095 steel. There's two of them. This is a Matey style knife and this is a short um, neck knife. And then this one here is a Swedish axe, Gransforth Brook. That's a fantastic axe too. I've used this one more in the past. It's a short little axe. And so that's what I used to chase the rings. So there you get a, a view of the one. I'm trying to get as close as I can, give you as much light. So here's the other. I'm just going to hold this one. It's going to be uh, done as well. So here we'll just uh, get a view of it as well. Hopefully there's not too much glare. Um, everything's quite pronounced because I've got a couple of coats of hide glue on there. And this one too is the same size, it's about 42 inches. Um, and so I'll show you those once I get them. Um, there's the other tip. We're going to put some horse hair on the top of that. I'm going to show you another uh, bow that I've almost completed where I've got the horse hair on the top. That was decorative as well as showed the natives the uh, direction of the wind. So here we'll uh, we'll show you these as soon as I get them done. Okay so here is a freshly sinewed bow. You'll notice how rough it looks, how uneven, clumpy in some places. Uh, in a day or two it'll be as flat as can be. You won't be able to see any of those bumps right now. It's full of hide glue and there's 35 grams of sinew on about a 42 inch Osage bow. Okay so here are those two 42 to 43 inch bows. They're fully sinewed now. Probably each have about 40 grams of sinew. Um, you can see that the design of the tip on each end on the, on the first bow here uh, kind of left a little bit of a pointy tip. I don't know if that's traditional or not. Um, the other bow, you can tell the tip on this end actually broke off. Um, so I'm going to string it. Um, you'll see in a future video um, that the string will go on there just fine. So let's just go down the bows now, take a look at the sinew. It's, uh, it's pretty much dry. It's probably another week or two till my little touch-ups um, have dried. So there's the one end there where we're going to put the horse hair and um, the one notch. And the other one is a little bit different style. Those two are traditional. That's a traditional style and that is a traditional style as well. Vern VFC Archery, thanks for watching.